The great Mike Malak, I hear it was a very successful day, a 10 out of 10 burger today, first off. It was off. a 10 out of 10. Uh, a bunch of people came out to try what I consider to be the best burger on the planet. It was a great day. Uh, any day in Manchester is a great day. You're taking this thing international. It's going all over the place. It's been everywhere. It's been in Saudi. It's been here. It's been in Chicago. Uh, and, you know, I hope to start opening brick and mortar soon. Investors, uh, we're, we're talking to investors now. So, but now it's fight time. Now it's fight time. It's fight day. Logan, obviously, interesting uh, day out yesterday. What is the status on his eye? Is he okay? He's fucking fine. <laughs> he's great. He's, I think you'll see in a couple minutes. I think he's probably a bit uh, swollen or, or just... I don't know, a bruise or something like that. I, I don't know. I haven't seen him today, but uh, but nah, he's good to go, you know. And I, I think it just becomes another part of the story, uh, the electrifying tale of of Dennis versus Paul, and you know, uh, it's just been a wild one. And and you know, I think Dennis has had a lot of momentum going into you know the, into the fight, obviously. And from here on out, it's all uh, Team Paul. There's no more. There's no more fun for Dennis. It's you know. It's been a lot of laughs, a lot of giggles, a lot of hee-hees from the 12-year-olds, but now it's time to get your ass knocked the fuck out uh, so me and Drake can get paid. Was, no, there that's a, it. was there a moment behind the scenes yesterday where maybe the doctors were looking at it and thinking, this could cost you the fight? I got no comments. <laughs> I got no medical comments. I, but, but, I mean, bro, a cut pre-fight, you know, we'll talk in general terms, is not a, is not a good thing. You know, it's a scary thing. So, you know, I, I can imagine there was conversations, but, uh, but yeah, I'm not commenting on that. Though. How's KSI and Tommy going to go? Bro, that's the one. See, that's what I don't <laughs> like about what's happened here is like the, the Danis fucking shit's been great because it's, it's really gotten people excited about it. But, but it's almost overshadowed the, mm -hmm. the, the, the main fight a little bit. It's uh, the co-main event. They're both main events. Oh, is that what it is? It's not one. It's a double main event. event. Oh, got it. Okay. Well, the KSI one I'm actually more excited about because we know we know what the outcome of the Paul fight is. I mean, you put your, you can put the building on it, the house on it, your mom's life. It doesn't matter, you know. I mean, everybody knows what the outcome is there. But for the for the KSI fight, that's a that's a fucking even fight, dude. You know, it's it's maybe. I, I mean, you got you got a very tactically sound bloodline fighter like Tommy Fury who's who, you know punch counter punch kind of guy and then you've got a dog like KSI with that overhand right uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens there I really don't I really don't have a, an answer on it I don't know What's up, brother? What do you think is actually going to happen between Dylan and, and Logan when they get in the ring on Saturday? I would assume just... Will Dylan I, actually fight? I would assume... Uh, yeah, I think... I mean, do, do we know that he's going to actually get the ring? Even if he does, apparently Mike Perry's still ready to rock. Like, if he shows up and then walks straight out again or does some Well, because I've heard some rumors that he potentially does the walk, gets in the yeah. ring, gets out, and goes home. Yeah, so is, then Mike Perry will go in and he won't get Is there. that what happens? Yeah. I mean, I mean, if, if he fights, he just hits. A, he gets a flurry round one. I say he's down round one, round two. You know, that's what my money's on. I mean, he's, he's there's just absolutely no chance he he, sur he survives the fight. You're looking good. You're in great physical, um, Nick. Up and down. You, you know, I got you, stomach problems. I'm an old man. You've never considered doing this one time. No. Oh. You know, I've been I've been at Unbreakable in LA, uh, throwing some shots around. But uh, you know, I got a bad I got a bad ankle that's got to get fixed. Uh, you know, other than that, I don't mind taking a, a shot to the face. I don't mind bleeding a little bit. I've done it a million times in my life. I've been, you know... Back in the day? Out. Oh, yeah. Those stories from the fifth uh, vital? Yeah, exactly. No, I, I would. I'd just have to get the ankle... Uh, I'd have to get the ankle healthy first. It's completely, completely fucked. Anyone you would fight? That's the other problem, too. I don't, I don't hate anybody. There's oh, no I know one, one guy. I know that? one guy you Who's hate. That? Mike that? versus Mike. Mike David Redbar. You could fight him. <laughs> Is he still alive? I think well, he was sick for a while. Wasn't he? But no, he's still doing the show. Yeah, I mean, I don't even hate him. I really don't. I don't. I just don't have. I don't harbor that that uh, animosity towards a single person. I wake up every day and I hate myself enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I don't. I got. I spend all my time worrying about myself and dealing with my own issues. That I don't have time to, to, to hate anybody else. So. Was he the most hated though? Like that you had like in this whole scene? Who's that? The guy I was talking about before. No, I don't know anything about him, bro. I, don't, I, I see a comment every once in a while, but I don't know a single thing about him. I, I can care less about that guy. Finally, it, last one I saw. Last time I saw you was at the Sean O'Malley fight. Not sure if you remember because it was a, a big night that night. But Sean is uh, is really moving up in the world, isn't he? No, but he's the biggest. He's the fucking biggest. He's number one right now, dude. So I mean, Sugar's uh, he's changing the game. You know, he's he's bringing the social media side into it. He's got he's he's almost like a he's almost like a fighter and a creator mixed together. 
and he's electrifying to watch. He's you know a non-conventional and orthodox fighter, and he, everybody so that's who everybody's watching right now. So you know he's a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten burger. Yeah. The fifth vital. What other things you got to plug here before we go? Probably just those two, and also I'd like to plug uh, being good to each other. I'd like to plug positivity. I'd like to plug uh, reaching out to your enemies and shaking their hand, and you know, being kind to each other. And uh, and also I would like to plug uh, Logan Paul security detail. To be completely honest, with you. I think they're <laughs> these guys are incredible. Here they are. And you know, they all. It's basically like watching like uh, Navy SEAL. Oh, here he is. What up, baby? How's the eye, Logan? It's great, bro. Look. Beautiful. <laughs>